Hello and welcome to another edition of Library in Our House. All right, I miss you guys. Today I'm going to read a story that reminded me of school called The Kissing Hand by Audrey Penn. And it's about a little raccoon who's afraid to go to school. So this book has two illustrators. So they must have worked together. It said illustrations by Ruth E. Harper and Nancy M. Leak. So that's pretty cool. Girl power. A lot of times authors will put a dedication into the beginning of their book. It's like saying who their book, uh, who they wrote it for, somebody that they love or some reason why they wrote it. So this dedication says, to Stephanie Rebecca Corrin and children everywhere who love to be loved. I love to be loved. Okay. <clears throat> Chester Raccoon stood at the edge of the forest and cried. I don't want to go to school, he told his mother. I want to stay home with you. I want to play with my friends and play with my toys and read my books and swing on my swing. Please, may I stay at home with you? Mrs. Raccoon took Chester by the hand and nuzzled him on the ear. Sometimes we all have to do things we don't want to do, she told him gently, even if they seem strange and scary at first, but you will love school once you start. You'll make new friends and play with new toys, read new books, and swing on new swings. I wish we had swings in the um, playground. That would be really fun. Besides, she added, I know a wonderful secret that will make your nights at school seem as warm and cozy as your days at home. Chester wiped away his tears and looked interested. A secret? What kind of secret? A very old secret, said Mrs. Raccoon. I learned it from my mother and she learned it from hers. It's called the kissing hand. The kissing hand, asked Chester. What's that? I'll show you. Mrs. Raccoon took Chester's left hand and spread open his tiny fingers into a fan. Leaning forward, she kissed Chester right in the middle of his palm. Mwah. Chester felt his mother's kiss rush from his hand, up his arm, and into his heart. Even his silky black mask tingled with a special warmth. She took Chester's hand and carefully wrapped his fingers around the kiss. Now, do be careful with the kiss. And don't lose it, she teased him. But don't worry, when you open your hand and wash your food, I promise the kiss will stick. Chester loved his kissing hand. Now he knew his mother's love would go with him wherever he went, even to school. That night, Chester stood in front of his school and looked thoughtful. Suddenly, he turned to his mother and grinned. Give me your hand. Now you have a kissing hand too, he told her. And with a gentle goodbye and I love you, Chester turned and danced away. Mrs. Raccoon watched Chester scamper across a tree limb and enter school. And as the hoot owl rang in the new school year, she pressed her left hand to her cheek and smiled. The warmth of Chester's kiss filled her heart with special words. Chester loves you, it sang. Chester loves you. This is the school that the little baby raccoon goes to. And it looks like the teacher is the owl. Did you guys notice that it's nighttime in this book? Do you know why Raccoon goes to school at nighttime with all these other animals? 
it's because they're nocturnal. The word nocturnal means an animal that's awake at nighttime, like skunks, raccoons, owls, cats, all kinds of animals are the most active, so they do all their stuff at nighttime when we're all asleep, and then during the day is when they go to sleep. So that's why Chester is going to school at night. And then the last page says, I love you. Now, can you do this with your hand? So make a fist, then open your thumb, and then your pointer finger, and then your pinky. Do you know what this means? It means I love you. So you can go like this to your mom and dad and tell them that this means I love you. Okay, that's it for today. I want everybody to go into their rooms, into their living rooms, ask your brothers and sisters for one book, okay? And I want you to do what we do in library class. So I want everyone to go find a book, even if you can't read or even if you're still practicing, okay? I want you to go find a book and I want you to look at it and read it for 15 whole minutes, okay? Or until you get bored. But maybe if you have a kitchen timer or you can ask somebody in your house to time you for 15 minutes, I want everybody to read a book today, okay? Um, and I'll see you very soon and everything's going to be okay and you guys are awesome and that's it. Bye-bye.